It was a quiet night in Lake Town when Bob noticed a golden light in the distance. His men thought gold was flowing from the mountain. But Bob knew it was dragon fire. Arrows splintered against the dragon scales. The townspeople fled. As Bard knocked the black arrow, the thrush whispered to him and told him what Bilbo saw. Three days later, the ancient raven Roach told the dwarves Smaug was dead. And that the men and wood elves were sending armies to claim a share of the treasure. Thorin sent Roach north to his cousin Dane. He called for an army of dwarves to make war on the men and elves. Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 10 of this playthrough of The Hobbit. This time I am playing through the Gathering of the Clouds. So basically in this level I'm going to be running around Erebor trying to find a way to return the Arkenstone to Thorin. So hope you're excited. Let's wait for this loading screen as usual and then I'll get right to the gameplay. Here you are Bilbo. The first payment of your reward. A mithril vest. A powerful object forged for an elf prince long ago. No less than you deserve for your help in this quest. And now I have a very important task for you. The Arkenstone, the heart of the mountain, is locked in the treasury. Find a way into the treasury and bring me that stone. You will need to open those doors first. Talk to Oin and see what help you can give him. I would trade all the riches in these halls for that one jewel, Mr. Baggins. Bring me the Arkenstone. Alrighty, so first of all, I'm going to be. Hold on, let's see. There's uh, cast, but there's spells open, blah, 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 blah. Just talking about some of the doors here that I can open. I don't need to read all that. Anyways, I'm going to be running around this courtyard area to begin with and getting all of the collectibles before I start moving on with some of the objectives for this level. Just want to make sure I grab everything before I get right into the meat of the storyline here. So, let me look around a little bit and see where I'm going. Alright, I guess I'll do this right now. I'll do, uh... Obviously, it's pretty obvious what you gotta do here. You gotta make the uh, runes here match the little uh, thing on the right. And that's what I'm gonna do. So, this rune right here kind of looks like an R. Let me kind of flip this thing around like a pancake. Uh, let me see. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna throw that way. I don't even know. Uh... I think this looks like the leg of the R. Let's try that. I'm gonna just throw it that way. Uh, jeez, man. I'm like, I butcher. I really should have, like, practiced a little before recording this. Alright, there it is. I see it. And I'll just flip it once this way. Alright, and I can push it over there. Probably have to flip it one more time. Yeah, I'll have to flip it to the left. But that should be it. Let me, let me toss that thing. Alright, good to go now. So there's another one of these on the other side of the map here. And once I get all four locked into place, all the doors will open. Uh, let me do this one real quick. I don't even know, dude. Let's, let's flip it that way for shits and giggles. Hmm, I'll keep flipping. Oh, there it is. This is the side I need, so let me find a way to get it to the other side. 
Bam. And then let me flip it this way. And then let me... F Ooh, there it is. Yeah, I'm good. Good music in this level, too. There's several little tunes I play in this level that are pretty sweet. Alright. So, let me go around and collect some of the stuff here. Talk to some of the dwarves. See what they gotta say. Let's see, let's talk to this one right here. This is the way to the old treasure chamber. That wretched dragon took the grandest hall of our kingdom and befouled it for 200 years. So, yeah. Dwarves are waiting outside their respective rooms. They gotta do their business in there, but first I have to open the doors. Thorin sent me to work on the forge, but I can't get into the room. Talk to Ayn and help him open these doors. Alright, so basically the way this level works is that there are four different rooms surrounding this courtyard area. And there's different puzzles and different things that you can do in each of those rooms. And every time you do that, you actually unlock other things for the different rooms. So you run back and forth between them and just... You know, work your way through the goals here. Let me grab those courage points up there. Oh my god, I slipped and fell. This little Stonehenge looking area. Okay, let me get up there. And I missed that jump too. This is not a good day for the Hobbit. Oh my god. I'm not doing too well here. Let me pole jump all the way over there. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I did have a few beverages before recording this video, so my gameplay may be a little bit off. That's alright, we'll, we'll do this, we're going to get through it. Just going to go around the perimeter first and work my way in, just so I don't miss anything. Uh, I saw some pots there. I'll grab those in a little bit. Let me talk to this guy. I need to get into the treasury, but I can't open these doors. Go talk to Oin and see if he has any ideas. All right. So you have the treasury, the forge, the gear room. You got the water room. All sorts of cool rooms to go into here. Let me talk to Ori here, or Oin. I'll be burned if I can figure it out. I've never heard that one before, but I like it. I might start using that. I'll be burned if I can get through this video without dying. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh... Should I put- I'm not gonna push those blocks yet, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go talk to this dude. Is that Bomber? That's Bomber. I swear that's the first time Bomber's talked this entire game in which he did not mention food at all. Wow, it's actually impressive. Good job, Bomber. I'm supposed to be in the water room, but I can't open this door. Talk to my brother Oin about opening these doors. Alright, let me continue to collect some of the goodies here. So those markings that Bill just commented on, it's actually going to be spots for me to put some key molds into later on. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. Let me get this pink courage point. Nice, and I just got another health bubble. I'm loving it. I wonder if I should do the riddle of the video here, since I'm running around collecting stuff. Uh, I don't know. I think there might be a better spot for it for later on. I think that's most of the collectibles. I think I might head back and push those blocks into place and open up all the rooms so I can start going into them.
Alright, let's do it. Hopefully this time I have a easier time than with the other side. Uh, so the one on the right there is supposed to look like an X, and the one on the left is going to look like a Y. So let's see what I can do here. I think this one's ready to be pushed in, actually. Looks about ready. Uh, I don't know. Let me flip it again. Uh, probably need to flip it one more time. No, I think that's it. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, let me push that into place. Uh, oh no, this is it right here. Yeah, that didn't look quite right. And then I just need to flip it upside down, I guess. There we go, perfect. And let me just grab this one, make the X here. And one flip this way should do it. See, that one's pretty easy. That one didn't give me too much trouble. Nice. Alright, so I have all the rooms open. Let me start going into them and figuring out the puzzles inside. Let me smack this pot. There are a ton of spiders in this level, and they do so much damage, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna start over here in the gear room. Now I'm taking my sword out because I know these spiders are just gonna crawl everywhere. Doing pretty well against them here, actually. Oh, and I just got... Right as I said that, I should have just kept my mouth shut. Get that dude. This guy's pissing me off. Let me use an antidote here since I have 15 of them. And I'll use one of the health potions too, I don't care. I feel like I've been hoarding all my potions the entire playthrough, so I'm gonna start using them a bit more. These gears must power the lift system. Here we got Bomber. This room powers those carts up there. When they're active, we can travel all over these halls. Until some water is routed into this room, there's not much you can do in here. Go to the water room, Bilbo. Alright, so to the water room is where we're gonna be going, but first, let's, uh... Finish up some of the stuff in here. Actually, I'm gonna leave the water room first a little bit later. Let me grab some of the collectibles. Oh man, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to jump. The silver, and then let me climb up there. If you remember, I got that gear belt pretty early on in this level, and it's used right here. Nice. So I got the gear room all fixed up, and it's good to go. I'm done in here for now, it looks like, so... Let me get out of here. I just smack some more pots on my way out. I think there's some more pots on the other side, but I need to come back in here later on, so I'll leave that for later. Uh, where do I want to go next? 
Do I want to go to the forge? Do I want to go to the treasury? I don't know. Probably gonna go to the treasury. Since it's closer, it's right here. Alright, let me fight some spiders. I think I'm gonna do them with the walking stick this time. Even though those red ones have a ton of health. Nice. Damn it, dude. Got me from behind. Uh, let me use some potions. I'm telling you, they do a ton of damage. You only get hit like one or two times and you look up and your health is halfway done. Smack this dude. I'm telling you guys, I'm not hoarding potions anymore. My hoarding days are over. I'm gonna use all the potions. I don't even care. The treasure behind those doors is worth more than all the Shire. To open the treasure chamber, you'll need a new key. The original was broken when Smaug looted these halls. Go to the forge and ask Bifer to make a new one. To use the key, you need to expose the keyhole. Each of those chains lowers that column a bit. You need to pull all four chains to lower the keyhole all the way. Alright, so a lot going on there. But basically, I just need to pull four chains to lower the pole the entire way. And then put a key that's going to be made in the forge into the keyhole. And then I'll be able to get the Ark and Stone from within the treasury. But easier said than done, obviously. Or else this level wouldn't be as long as it is. And this video wouldn't be as long as it's probably going to be. Man, it like blasted this pot all the way back here. My walking stick powers are off the charts. Alright. So let me start jumping on some of these chains. There's a total of four. There's one. And you're noticing there's two more. And you're probably wondering, where is the fourth one? Where indeed? So you actually have to collect the fourth chain, hook it back up to the machinery, and then pull on it. So, like I mentioned earlier, this whole treasury room is easier said than done. Let me climb up here and get some of the goodies. And this jump sucks. Sometimes if you don't have your angle right, you just... You won't grab onto that ledge. And you fall down and you die. And I remember that used to happen a lot. And then let me go around this ledge here, collect some goodies, some courage points right there. Come on, Bilbo. Nice. And this is the most annoying part of the game. Look at this. Isn't this perfect to hide something in here, like a courage point or some silver or something? But no, there's nothing in there. Nothing in that little alcove. And it really bothers me. I don't know why, but it just drives me nuts. That's alright, let's make my way out of here. Probably gonna head up uh, to the forge next. Forge is pretty cool. So, right here, this is where I need to put the fourth chain once I find it, and then I can crawl down. And, uh... Lower that pillar all the way to expose the keyhole. So let me hit up that forge. It's all the way across, so I gotta cross this little river here. Probably the coolest of the four rooms. Let me wreck some spiders. Oh man, I'm just like destroying these guys. I might use an antidote here. Oh, no, I haven't decided. I'll do it, I'll do it. Let's use an antidote. 
Went ahead and used a health potion too, because that's just the way I roll nowadays. Alright, here we are in the forge. Probably the biggest of the four rooms. Before I grab anything here, let me go talk to our dwarfish friend here. See what he has to say. You've got to get the bellows working before you can use the forge. Try the water room. I'm sure Gloyan can tell you what to do. The fire needs to be lit. When the fire and the bellows are working, the forge can be used. Awesome music up in this place. I mean, listen to this thing. Alright, so let me go around and collect everything there is to collect here in the forge before I do all the quests and all that. Of course, it's not a forge without deadly spiders. Man, I am doing pretty well against them. And again, I open my mouth and I get smacked by a spider. I'm not even going to heal this time because it looks like I'm about to fill up my courage meter. There we go. See, so my health is full. Didn't even have to use a potion there. So I'm three little health bubbles away from maxing out. Smack all these guys, come on. It's this guy. Alright, I think I'm gonna climb up the stairs here. There's some courage points I can grab way above myself. Let me crawl on the edge here. There's some courage points over on the left side here. And also on the other side of the forge as well. So I'll be going there in a moment. And I know you're looking at that patch right there. And saying, why does that does why does this not look as colored as the rest of the wall? And you'll find out towards the end of the video. Head over to the other side. Um, I think I'll do the riddle of the video now. It might be a good time. So the riddle for last time, the question was, uh, what? Which of the thirteen dwarves from the Hobbit is the only other one to have appeared in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, as far as the actors go? Um, and the answer to that riddle is Jed Brophy, who plays Nori. He was actually in the Lord of the Rings movies in the trilogy. He played various orcs in the background and some background people as well. But most notably, he was actually the guy that played Sharku. If you remember Sharku, he is the goblin warg rider that kind of had a fight with Aragorn in the Two Towers. The guy that pushed him off the cliff. So, interesting fact, I didn't know that. That's actually played by the guy who plays Nori in the Hobbit movies. So, pretty cool. Uh, question for this video, I'm going to keep it pretty easy. going to keep it Hobbit related as well. And, probably the easiest question we've had so far. What year was the animated version of The Hobbit released in? So, if you think you know the answer to that riddle question, and you want a chance to win a free copy of Lego The Hobbit, head on over to my website. Throw down the answer and you'll be entered to the contest. Obviously, if you're watching this several months into the future, that contest is long gone and you lost your chance. But if you don't know the answer to that question, check out my next video, which is actually going to be the final video of the entire playthrough, and I'll reveal the answer. 
So I'm climbing up here on the forge. I have to do some things here. I'm gonna push this urn into the fire. Or into the coal pit, I guess. Into the actual furnace. Bilbo looks like he's dancing, climbing down these stairs. And I think I am just about ready to head on over to the water room and get the water flowing. So there's actually two entrances and exits to the forge. I'm going to be going through the side that I did not previously come in from. There's going to be some more spiders waiting for me, but that's alright. I got my walking stick ready. I'm ready for them. Man, there's a ton, dude. There's like six red ones. And I got three blue ones, or three green ones. I was trying so hard not to take damage, but obviously I failed at that. Can I use my antidote? I think I'm good here. I think that's all, though. So I'm finally ready to enter the water rune. Water room? I said rune because I'm anticipating what's going to happen here. I'm going to have to examine some of the runes in order to be able to move forward. So if you read this, it says you must walk through Erebor to get to its heart. So then if you come and you look at this statue, it says Erebor. And then if you take a look at the runes down there, you got to step on them in this giant rune panel. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Get smacking this H looking one. Up arrow. Another H. Then I'm going to head over here and hit the, uh, what was it? R. And then... Uh, this little hat thing, and then up arrow, and that's gonna open the way forward into the water room. This must be the room that powers the rest of the kingdom. My father built this room. It's most ingenious. These canals direct water into each room. Those that exit the front power functions in other rooms of the mountain. Those that go out the side, well, I don't know what those do exactly. Use those switches to direct the water where you will. The real trick is to get all the canals active at once. So, freaking Gloin, he was just chilling in this room and then he locked that death door behind him. But whatever, I'm not gonna judge. I'm gonna go around and collect some stuff before I do the puzzles in here. I like to get the dirty work out of the way before I get into the meat of the gameplay. Getting all these collectibles and all that. Just lowering this chain so I have a shortcut for later on. And then here I can initiate the puzzle. So like Loin was saying, I have to flip these things around so that I have water going into every part. The two up ones at the top and then also the two canals on the right for the collectible items. If you just spend a few minutes with it, it's not so bad to figure it out. 
Or if you're lazy, you can just copy what I'm doing. Because I'm a master. Alright. Uh, I think I only need one more here. And there we go. The kingdom under the mountain is coming alive again. Sweet. So I got the gear room going. And I got the treasury going. Nice. So because I put the gear belt back in the gear, all these lift systems here are operational. And I can run around the entire map like this. It's pretty cool. And another health bubble, man. Nice. Only need two more and I'm filled up. So I'm going to use this little cliff here to kind of try and get back on another one of these. And right back to almost where I was previously. Just wanted to come to that side to grab some of the collectibles. I'm going to step off right here. Then I'll get the water flowing to the other side of the map. So this will direct water to the forge. Which will be good. So let me work on this. And of course I also have to review all the extras, all the chests and all that. Alright, so I got water in the forge. That's good. And I got some water. Where is this place? I think this is the main room. So both of those pumps actually go to the forge. And I also got that chest exposed. Alright, I think that's everything here. So I can continue along. Let me go down this chain so I have a shortcut for later on. And also I have two golden chests here that I can open now. So I'm definitely just using my skeleton keys on these chests nowadays. I don't care to sit there and uh, lockpick them anymore. Too much frustration. Then I'm going to climb back up here and I'm going to ride the lift system to other areas of the map to grab some more collectibles. I'll get off right here. And you'll recognize this as the gear room. I'm just way above it. Bam! Stupid spiders, dude. I just want to squash them. It would be nice if Bilbo could carry around a little spray can of raid anti-cockroach spray or whatever spray these spiders down watch them twitch this will create a nice shortcut for me if i ever need it here's some of the pots i left down here earlier the kingdom under the mountain is coming alive again and look at that 
It's like the third line bomber has spoken all game. That doesn't involve food. I think he might be going on a diet. It's just a blue chest, not a golden chest. I'll pick it like a normal person. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, see, that's why I don't lockpick anymore. I just fail every time nowadays. Whatever. I'm not even going to use an antidote. I will, I will. I'm going to climb back up. Wait, I didn't use an antidote. I used a health potion. I'm being an idiot. And I'm too stubborn to go back and actually use an antidote. And my health is just getting sapped by the poison. I wonder at what point I'll decide to use one. Okay, it's gone, so there's no point anymore. I'm gonna get off right here as well. This is above the treasury room. Now I'm gonna run down this tunnel all the way to the other side of it. If I can jump past this. Some more spiders waiting for me. Or are there? No, there's not any in this part. Let me jump on this to create a shortcut for later. I'm gonna get on the lift system here and move across to the other side. My health was getting low, so I decided to use that health potion. Probably could have used another one, but I'm good. It's a pretty nice sight right there. Nice sunset. So here you can see there's going to be another area for a chest that I can open up later. So I need to come back to this area in a little bit. I'm just getting wrecked by these spiders. Create a shortcut here for later on. So I can come grab that chest when the time's right. Let me go that way, grab those courage points right in front of me. I hate going around these ledges, dude. I feel like I'm always gonna fall off. I mean, look at that. Half his giant hobbit feet are off the... Off the wall. Or off the ledge, I should say.
this may or may not be the last set of spiders that I have to fight. I don't know, I can't remember. And here finally is that chain for the treasury room. So I can hook it up and then pull on it. And I'll be able to pull that pillar down all the way. Gonna grab some more goodies around here. Gonna come to the forge so I can make some of the key molds that I grabbed earlier. I wanna make them into keys and then I can use them. But before I do that, I'm coming up here to grab another one of those chests that I opened up. I'm gonna get this first try, I know it. Nice. Alright, now we can head down to the actual forge and make the keys. So let me talk to the dwarf here, let him teach me. Everything is working. You need a mold of the treasury key before you can use the forge. The treasury key mold is kept by the throne. You'll need to find some way to lower the throne if you wish to forge a new key. Okay, so we need two keys to get the key mold for the treasury key mold to make the treasury key to open the treasury gate. So just slap the mold on there and then you can do this thing. And it makes the key. Come grab it. And then let me come do the other one. And bam. Come on. What? What? I forgot to put the key mold on there like an idiot. Oh my god. Ah. Make sure you put the key mold on there first, guys. Don't be a fool. This key mold actually kind of looks like a dead run over skunk, if you look at it. It's like roadkill. Okay, now that I have these keys, I can go lower the throne. And that'll give me another key mold for the treasury room. Alright, so here I got the throne, I guess. Then let me put my skunk roadkill here on the ground. Nice. There's the final key mold and this courage point. Now, let me head all the way back to the forge. Make the final key. And then I'm ready to move on.
I swear I will not forget to put the key mold on there first this time. That would just be silly. And this one looks like crosshairs. Like you're about to shoot something. And now I've got pretty much everything I need. For the most part, anyways. There are still uh, several hidden chests that I need to open and then go collect. So first, you may have noticed four giant statues around here in the courtyard. Let me take you to them. Here's the first one. And this is a statue of Thor. Make sure you remember the runes at the bottom of this, uh, the statue. That's actually why I'm coming around showing all you, all you guys all these. This is Thrain. Those are his runes. There's a reason I'm doing this. You'll see it in a moment. But let me come around here. Now you got this statue here. It's of course Durin. And then our good friend Thor and Oakenshield. And those are his runes. Now let me head back into the water room. You probably know where this is going by now. So I can step on this thing and reset the board and then if I input the runes at the bottom of each of the four statues it'll open up an unlockable for me. So that's why I took the time to run around and actually show you guys all those runes and statues. And these little circles on the ground they're actually spikes so if you definitely don't want to walk into those. Alright, let me do the second statue now. Oh, see? That's that spike I'm telling you about. It sounds pretty cool. I like the sound effect for it, but definitely hurts. Let me do the third statue. Alright, one more to go. Nice. So I'm done with that, so finally, I'm gonna go around collect all these four chests that I just unveiled. And then finally I'll head into the treasury and open up the secret chamber there and retrieve the Arkenstone. Alright, need three more. So this is why I jumped on all those chains earlier, so I can have these shortcut access points for right now when I'm coming up and getting all these chests. And let me go straight across to the other side for chest number three.
right above the gear room. have to make my way across this ledge though which sucks maybe if I sneaked with the L button it would be easier too stubborn to try it though I'm just gonna do it like I've always done alright Alright, so that's three out of the four chests. The final one is actually in the treasury where I'm headed anyways. So that's convenient for me. If I fall down now, I would be so pissed off. So I'm trying to be careful. Some stonework, eh, Bilbo? Puts those shabby goblin holes to shame. So right here above the treasure room is going to be this last chest. Uh, I had to use my skeleton key there because I was about to run out of time on that chest. I don't know if you guys saw it. There's also one more chest here in the treasury. And that was open earlier with the in the water room by getting water to flow over here. So I'm going to go open that real quick. Alright, and finally I have to climb up here, put the chain down, and then pull on the chain to lower the pillar so that I can put the key mold into the keyhole and open the treasury gate. And once again, here's that tricky jump that sometimes you won't grab the ledge and you'll die here right at the very end. And then you'll want to kill everything. That's why I'm making triple sure that I have my angle decent there. And also, if you don't wait for these carts to go by, they'll just knock you clear off this thing and kill you. Alright, now I just have to jump on the chain. And then pull it down. Nice. And then the keyhole is exposed. And then let me make the cinematic for you guys. Let me go talk to this dwarf, see what he has to say about all the hard work we put in. And then I'll go in there and finish off the level. The oh my god. It backfired. He's saying the same thing over and over again. And I'm too stubborn to press start and skip it. I, I want him to finish saying what he's got to say. But he's already said all this. So that's completely pointless. Oh my god. I can't believe that. I was trying to make it all cinematic and climactic. And instead I just ruined everything. Oh well. So there's the final collectibles here. If you touch the Arkenstone before you get these collectibles, you're screwed. Because as soon as you touch the Arkenstone, the level finishes. So I got all this stuff. Another health bubble. I need one more and I'm filled up. Nice. So let me grab the Arkenstone. The Arkenstone. The heart of the mountain. Sweet. So that's the end of the level. 
And I've got everything there is to get here. 1,017 silver pennies. I suspect this is going to be 3,100 courage points. And then of course, 12 chests, 16 quests. I'm good to go. I'm going to buy the final health bubble for the game. This is going to fill me up all the way. Nice. And then, what else should I buy? Mm, to to to. I'll buy a skeleton key. Should I buy more? I'll buy some antidotes. So the next level is the final level of the game, and there's only five chests, so I only need five keys. But I'm a badass, so I'm gonna fill up my key ring here. And I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and join me next time for the conclusion of this playthrough.